My name is Goldit, Goldit Mukyang. I am a student um, at BU doing business, um, Bachelor of Business. Um, I also run a non-profit organization called MSA. Um, I visited a hospital in Juba and I think it was the surrounding at the hospital, um, the lack of uh, facilities, um, bedding materials. So that motivated me to come back to Australia and do something about it. And that's how we started it. I've always been passionate about helping people um, since I was a kid, basically. It was always uh, finding out how I could help people. Um, and I think it, everything takes time. You know, if you want to help people uh, make a difference, it takes time. But if you continue to push through, um, I think you can make it happen. The process of MSA, um, I think our main target, um, I'm not a medical um, student. I know nothing about uh, medical background. So I intend to focus on the bedding materials, such as providing mosquito nets, blankets, bed covers, and so on. Um, to do this, we run events, barbecue, fundraising, um, music concerts, and so on. I have a group of um, young, passionate people who help out. Um, and when we started this, uh, my friend who lives in Newcastle, her name is Jordan, she, she, I think she was the biggest um, influence in making MSA happen. Um, I was more of a, an, an idea person and she pushed through to make this happen. So um, right now, I think we're trying to encourage young people to join along um, in, um, to continue basically to um, branch out into um, a bigger, um, I guess I could say a bigger family because that's what we are. Um, so yeah. I think something that I've experienced um, would have to be tribalism and when I say this I think that's one of the biggest issues that we face in South Sudan. Um, it was surprising because I did not think it would be an issue but um, it turned out to be um, on top of the list of the things that we faced um, and but I believe that it's all um, about showing you know when you want to make a change you can't just talk about making a change. You have to, you have to show something for it. You know, you have to tell people and sort of show the results of what you're trying to do. If you actually want people to believe in um, your passion and what you want to do, planning to um, put in our first order for uh, mosquito nets. Hopefully, in the next two weeks, we'll get something done. And I am hoping to to travel back to South Sudan hopefully in July. The advice that I would give is you're never too small to make a difference. Um, I think most people, especially the younger ones, feel they're being underestimated, um, that they cannot make a difference. But it doesn't matter where you start. It doesn't matter what kind of change you're making as long as you, you, know, you know that you're doing something right and put your heart into it. Yeah, so just keep going, you know. Um, step up, find the right people to to help you along with it. Yeah.